Hey guys, it's Dr. Green here. We're doing our educational success secrets. What we're talking about today is a blog post that I put on a couple weeks ago. It's about gut bacteria. And, and you may not have realized this, but the good bacteria that we have in our gut may actually be making you depressed, anxious, or overweight. Now we all carry trillions of bacteria in our guts, with as many as a thousand different strains. The composition of these strains, or our bacterial fingerprint, can influence whether we're prone to depression, anxiety, or obesity. Some gut bacteria can make you fat. Studies have actually shown that people and mice who are overweight have a much higher levels of particular strains of bacteria than thinner subjects. When thin mice are inoculated with bacteria from heavy mice, they actually gain weight. It's because these fat-promoting bacteria have been shown to encourage overeating, promote weight gain, prevent the burning of fat, and make people obese better at deriving calories from food than thin people. In a nutshell, your bacterial fingerprint plays a role in how much fat you carry and how easy or how difficult it is for you to lose weight. Although diet and exercise are important, these findings help to explain why solely relying on the eat less and exercise more approach to weight loss is outdated. Now there's an effect on gut bacteria when we deal with depression and anxiety. In fact, the composition of your bacteria plays a huge role on whether you suffer from these neurological problems. For instance, having plenty of beneficial bacteria, such as the bifidobacteria strain, which is one of those good probiotics that we hear about. It can promote production of something called serotonin. This is the feel-good chemical that prevents depression. On the other hand, too much of a bad bacterial strain can promote depression and anxiety. It's because the gut is linked to the brain by the vagus nerve. This is a large nerve that sends messages back and forth between the brain and the digestive system. The effects of harmful bacteria in the gut travel to the brain, impacting brain function and mood. In one study, subjects who took probiotics containing lactobacillus and bifidobacterium reported less anxiety, depression, and anger in an improved ability to solve problems. In another study, mice given a lactobacillus strain cruised through a maze that normally created high anxiety and showed lower levels of the stress hormone cortisol compared to their probiotic-derived counterparts. Now, researchers are still unsure how to banish obesity, depression, and anxiety with probiotics, but it's clear that you need to enhance your bacterial fingerprint for optimal health. It's about cultivating good gut bacteria in your body. When we talk about even, even birthing and, and baby feeding, gut bacteria can be affected. In fact, the balance of good and bad bacteria starts at birth. Vaginal deliveries and breastfeeding have been shown to improve a child's chance of starting off with a healthy bacterial colony compared to C-sections and bottle feeding. In fact, to take it a step further, babies who are breastfed have a very high chance at not developing leaky gut syndrome later in life, and some research has even shown that babies who are not breastfed are always going to be dealing with leaky gut issues their whole life. It's because they don't get that good colostrum that they need with all those immune cells to build up that colony. Now, chronic stress can throw your bacterial harmony out of balance. Ask in diets filled with sweets and sugars, processed foods, fast foods. These foods damage and inflame the intestinal walls, promoting overgrowth, bad bacteria, and yeast. You can promote bacterial harmony by focusing on an anti-inflammatory whole food diet that includes cultured and fermented foods. Kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi, fermented vegetables, kombucha. If you use store-bought cultured foods, make sure they're the real deal and not simply made with vinegar. Sometimes they're pasteurized, which actually kills good bacteria. A healthy colony of good gut bacteria also relies on plenty of soluble fiber in the diet. Eating plenty of produce will give you just what you need in that respect. Eat your vegetables. Now, we have powerful probiotics today that can help you cultivate your inner garden. We can actually use these tools to help reduce obesity, depression, and anxiety. Now, probiotics should be stable enough to survive the hot and acidic environment of the stomach and contain ample amounts of beneficial strains. Ask my office for advice on a probiotic that's right for you. If you're interested in learning more, I encourage you to call and schedule either an in-office consult with me or a distance medicine consult with me to see if we can help you with your chronic health problems. My office number is 704-987-3993. Our website is www.drakibagreen.com. My blog is www.askdrakiba.com. Hope to talk to you soon. Thank you very much.